I can't believe that I'm enjoying my fantastic summer break playing on my electronics without having to worry about dealing with school until next month. Luckily I even had the chance to stay in my room all summer instead of going outside for a boring long walk around the neighborhood. Nothing can even go wrong on this beautiful day. Jody, what do you think you're doing right now? Playing on my computer all day in my room. Jody, you've been playing on your laptop for almost an entire summer. You need to take a break from your laptop and do something else that is more productive, like go out for a walk at the park or something. What are you talking about, Dad? I've been outside before. No, you haven't. You've been stuck in your room all summer playing video games without even doing a single thing outside of it. As a result, I'm taking your laptop away from you until you decide to go outside and do something very productive. Hey, I was in the middle of playing a game on Newgrounds. Well, tough luck. You need to do something else other than playing on your laptop all the time. Like what? Like you need to step outside and get some nice fresh air or go out for a walk in the park. You won't be getting this laptop back until you step outside and do something productive, and you better not complain about it at all. But I don't want to go outside or go for a walk at the park. I hate it up there. Besides, people might try to bully me or make fun of me thinking that I'm a nerd around the entire city. Please, just give me my laptop back so I can continue with my game for once. Jody, what did I just tell you? I told you to not complain about it, and you just did. And no, you can't have your laptop back until you step outside and go for a walk at the park. You really need to get your exercise like most people do. Do I sit around in this house and watch TV or play video games all day like you always do? No, but I still go out anyway and do something productive like going to work, going grocery shopping, and even paying our rent and bills for a house. So whether you like it or not, you are going out for a walk at the park and that's a capital final. Unless you want to be grounded until the start of your senior year in high school next month. Do I make myself clear on that? Ugh. Fine. I'll go out for a walk at the park if it kills you that much. Good. Okay then, have fun at the park, and I'll give you your laptop back when you come back from your walk. And if I get a phone call from one of the security guards saying that you cause trouble while at the park, not only will you won't get your laptop back, but you will be punished and ground if that. Do you understand me? Yeah, I understand. Excellent. Alright then, have fun at the park. And remember, no causing trouble while you're there. Whatever you say. Ugh. This sucks. I can't believe that I'm forced in my own skin to do something productive outside such as going for a lame ass walk at the park. All I wanted was to play on my laptop all day and not go outside, but nope. My stupid dad forced me to step outside due to me being stuck in my room all summer playing video games. Can't he just let me have a break for at least a day or two or something? This is starting to get me sick right there. Oh well. Let's just get this walk-in out the way to keep my mind off being stuck in my room all summer. You know, going for a walk at the park isn't really a bad idea after all. I needed to get out of the house for some fresh air anyway because I haven't been out for a walk ever since school got out for the summer. And plus, doing my exercise helps me keep my mind off of something that I have or haven't done in a while. Let's just keep walking to the park because I'm almost there. Alright. I'm finally here at the park. Now I will find something entertaining to do while I'm here. Okay, let's see here. Is there something I can do that is entertaining for me besides doing a lot of walking? Oh, I wonder what's going on over there? 
I better go check and see. Hey Rebecca, what are you looking at? Nothing much really. Except those four girls over there who look like they're talking about something. What? Are they talking about me? I think they are. Just listen to them very carefully. God, Jody might be by far the worst troublemaker we've ever had at school. I know. Not only did she team up with Raven and the gang to cause trouble, but she also nearly killed Mrs. Ramirez by putting rat poison in her salad without anyone knowing. Not only that, but she also likes to gossip about people and get them into trouble just like Rebecca. And she even joined up with Viley's crew, the same troublemaking gang that's been causing a lot of trouble for years in Beyond City, and she even did the Devious Licks challenge when it's strictly forbidden in this city. Yeah. I agree. She needs to be punished big time by being forced to do community service throughout the entire school. Not to mention, she's also a big nerd herself. Am I right, girls? Most certainly. <laughs> no way. These four naughty girls are talking about everything I've done recently. I think it's time I teach Allison a big and strong lesson that she will never forget. Do you think this is necessary to do this Jody? Because I have a very good feeling that it's not the right thing to do. I'm very positive Rebecca. Don't worry about me, I'll handle this myself. Oh, well alright then. Good luck with that. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Allison. Are you and your stupid friends talking about all of the bad things I did in the past? Yes I am. You got a problem with that? You bet I got a problem with that. So you better explain to me why you're gossiping behind my back. It's because you and your friends have been causing too much trouble in this school lately. If you want us to stop talking about you, I suggest you lighten up and make some freaking changes. Fat chance I listen. You're nothing but a big nerd who likes to gossip about people behind their backs, and all you do is try to get me and my friends in trouble every single day. I think you should take a look in the mirror Jody. It's you who is the gossiping nerd. You also nearly killed Mrs. Ramirez with rat poison and did the devious licks challenge when it is strictly forbidden in the city. Yeah? Well I suggest you keep your damn mouth shut nerd. So you like bullying people, huh? You better back off before this gets worse for you, Cantrell. Alright then, since you're really looking to get beaten down, let's freaking go. Alright then, bring it on. I ain't going down without a fight. <laughs> Come on, Joey. Kick our ass. Don't let that bully get to you, Allison. Hit her with all you got. Come on, Allison. Show Jody who's boss. Beat her up real good. You can do this, Allison. Don't give yourself up fighting with Jody. You got this, Allison. Punch Jody really hard in the nose. Man, this fight is much more intense than when Raven fought with Michael at school last year for wearing the manga that everyone didn't like. I agree with you, Andy. This fight is definitely going on social media. Hey, hey, hey. You two broke it up right now. You two are coming with us right now. Fighting is strictly forbidden at this part. Is, is this, this the best, best you got, nerd? nerd? You, you definitely, definitely haven't seen, seen the last of, of me. me. Well girls, I'm quite disappointed in you right now. I can't believe you both had the audacity to get into a massive brawl fight, especially you Allison. I didn't expect the two of you to act out like you just did now. We do not allow people to get into arguments and fights at this park. Fighting is not tolerated during park hours, as it is a violation of the park guidelines, and we will not have this sort of behavior at this park. Next time I catch you two doing what you just did again, you both will be placed under custody. 
Do I make myself clear on that? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Good. Now consequences will be handed out to both of you. Allison, since this is your first offense, you will be kicked out from this park for two days, and hopefully you'll get yourself together for when you do come back. And as for you Jody, since you got into an argument with Allison, gave the first punch to her and started this fight, you will be... Let me stop you right there. You're gonna kick me out from this park for five days, right? Absolutely not. You have definitely crossed the line big time. You're actually getting kicked out from this park for two weeks. We will be calling both of your parents about this. Both of you leave this park and head straight home now. Oh my god. Jody Cantrell, what on earth is wrong with you? How dare you get into a fight at the park and get kicked out for two weeks? You know that you're supposed to treat people nicely with fair respect. Also, what did I tell you earlier about causing trouble at the park? I told you to not cause any trouble at the park, and you just did anyway. Let me tell you something young lady, this type of reckless behavior such as this will not be tolerated at all. You are seriously getting sick through your head, and we did not raise you to be this way whatsoever. Also, you are so lucky that the security guard didn't put you in handcuffs to arrest you, because who knows what will happen if they did take you to jail. You are 16 years old and you need to do better than this. Keep this terrible behavior up and we will all send you to a mental hospital so you can get your behavior checked out regularly. That does it Jody. We've had enough of your terrible behavior. You are now grounded for two weeks. There will be no TV, no video games, no phone, no computer, and many more, and you won't be getting your laptop back as a result of this incident. This has got to be one of the worst things that you have ever done, with the first one being from when you nearly murdered Mrs. Ramirez with rat poisoning on the first day of school. You are such a huge disgrace to all of us, and we don't even know what to do with your terrible ass. Now head upstairs to your room and think heavily on what you did today. And you will also be writing an apology letter to the person you just fought with at the park today, and if it isn't completely sincere enough, we will punish you even further. Scram. And stop with that babyish crying of yours. It's your fault that you got into a fight at the park in the first place. We don't want to hear any of that no more, or we will extend your grounding time to a whole month. Allison, what's wrong? Why are you home so early? And why are you crying? I got into a fight with Jody at the park and got kicked out for two days. Oh dear, that is so terrible. You were only trying to defend yourself from Jody. Don't worry, you're not in trouble or anything. But just remember that if somebody like Jody picks on you again, you tell a trusted adult such as a friend, a security guard, a police officer, or us so we can resolve this problem. We will leave you off with a warning, but try your best not to get dragged into fights such as this. You're not grounded for that. You can head upstairs to your room if you like to calm yourself down. Okay. Did any of you guys see that fight that went on between Jody and Allison? Yeah, a lot of us saw that fight. It was pretty intense. Tell me about it. I'm glad that those security guards showed up before either side got seriously hurt. You and me both. By the way, I'm really sorry for the trouble my sister caused for you guys. If it makes you feel any better, she's now grounded for two weeks. Good. It serves her right for all the crap she's been doing lately, including starting that fight. Hopefully she'll reflect on this and learn to treat people nicer in the future. Yeah, hopefully. Say, do you guys want to head to Wages Diner for a meal to take our minds off of all this? That sounds like a great idea, Isa. Hopefully the restaurant isn't fully packed by the time we get there. Let's all head there now. Okay. okay. 